New tonight, a Richmond police officer killed earlier this month in the line of duty was honored in Washington, D.C. Congressman Andy Barr took the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives to honor Officer Daniel Ellis today. His death is a tragic reminder of the dangerous, selfless, and heroic work done by law enforcement officers and first responders each and every day. I thank Officer Ellis for his service and devotion, and we celebrate and honor his life. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back the balance of my time. In Richmond, as police continue to mourn Officer Ellis's death, several restaurants are reaching out to them. Garrett Weimer is in Madison County tonight. New at 530, he shows us how the businesses are showing their support to police. The flags are at half staff, and Officer Ellis's police cruiser remains out here in front of the Richmond Police Department. With those signs of mourning still so prominent, several restaurants here in the city are showing their support and appreciation to the officers. The people here care, and they care a lot. Steve Rosenberg says he knew he had to do something to help the Richmond officers who lost their brother. He says businesses he reached out to jumped in to get involved. The result? Gift certificates, each $45.70, honoring Officer Ellis's badge number 457. Richmond's police chief says gestures like these over the past few difficult weeks mean a lot to them. It's a, a great reminder, I think, to all of us. and and uh, law enforcement that, you know, this is a service profession at the end of the day, and those that we serve show that they appreciate what we do. This Sunday is RPD Appreciation Day. There will be drop boxes at several locations across the city where people can make donations to show their support, and all that money raised will go to the family of Officer Ellis. In Richmond, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The organizer says he challenges everyone to give at least $1 to show they care.